Okay, let's grab uh, a stove. Get a well, it's actually an oven, Moffat oven. It's an older, older one. I'll take off the back. See how much wire is inside this thing. There's a fair amount of wire actually. Well, I just want the wire out of it mainly and it switches. I don't really care too much about. I'll take the lid off here. Are. Looks like a rotating mortar. Must have a rotisserie here. Oops. Kind of a tiny mortar, but. Worst comes to worst, you can just sell it. Actually, I might pop that off right away. You can sell it as a mortar or just uh, take the mortar apart. Not really worth it. Got a couple of nuts in the back. You have to keep winding until the nuts come off. I mean, you got a little bit of copper here. I tore something apart like that before. It was only three ounces of copper, if that. Uh, these here are aluminum. Gloves don't last too long. Okay, let's just cut some more off here. A lot of wires here. Oh, there's another mortar here. Probably a little bit better for that one there. Let me cut some of this halfway. wire is very thick, thick copper wire. I figure if I'm going to scrap it, I might as well get the wire out of it at least. Wires, uh, if, you, if you strip the wire, the wire is going to be about 340 a pound stripped. So it adds up quite a bit. And this, this type of wire is fairly heavy. 
to have your gauge wire on the stove, so the stove's an old one. That's copper or not, this almost feels like steel. I'd say push steel. Okay, so that side's stripped. We'll find the right bits here, take off the front face off it. Let me find the right bits here back in a minute. I just pulled the open a Milwaukee tool set uh, bit set actually. Uh, I'm missing certain bits. And this looks like I don't have the right bit either. And maybe that bit will work there. But it's in the sh I like to have it on these long shafts, but anyways, that's the one I need. It says set value over $55. I don't see no $55 value here. It looks like not very really much here. A bit there, but I don't know how to get fifty-five dollars for all this crap. But anyways, got the right tools now, so let's uh, continue. Here. There's two on that side, two on this side. Should take the face off, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it's loose in the face. And I want to be able to get behind the glass here and to get all these uh, switches off. Lots of spring to that door. I'm just gonna use two hands, one second. Loosened off that face plate, uh, had a lot of uh, tension on that door, so I had to do it. One hand holding the door, and the other hand uh, pulling that off. A few more wires here. Grounding wires. That's your power power leads. Pretty thick wire, not that thin, so well, it's pretty good. So I'll take, take a couple more things off here, and then I'm gonna just leave for the scrapper. I'm gonna pull this mortar off. I need a different bit. Everything's wrong sizes here. I can't believe it. There's oddball sizes, and these tool sets don't have those certain sizes. Either too big or too small. Okay, that one fits here. I'll pop the mortar off. I'll clean it at a different time. A nice little copper mortar here. A 
consult the way it is. It's probably about three ounces. I, I strip on these before. It's three ounces only of copper. So it might not even be worth it. I'll take this little thing off here. It's a switch. Switch. It's a heat switch. Could have could have something in there, maybe a little silver recovery possibly. So uh, it looks like pretty well, that's all I'm gonna take off this thing. Off that point there. Okay, now let's see this one. It's got a cast aluminum outside. See, some of these are really easy, and some are really difficult. They make it difficult. Use so many different type of bolts. Like, you know, now I need a, a driver for that, which I don't have a driver handy. So I have to use my trusty pliers. Simple demonstration. Uh, now I get a find. Okay. I'm going to take these off anyways. I'll take those off, all four of those, and then I'll show you the rest when I take the dial part off. Okay, I got the uh, dials off, both dials. A little bit hard to get to, I didn't have the right tools, but I'm gonna pop off these little ones here. A different bit. So it dropped a bit earlier and I can't find it. I just want to show you here, these are silver uh, plated contacts, or silver contacts itself, right here and right, right there. There's two spots here. This would somehow, uh, it would vibrate the right time and it would click the stove on or whatever you want to do there. So there it is, two contacts. I pulled the mortar out. Yeah, I couldn't get that off here because I dropped that bit here. It's supposed to be a magnetic the shaft here. But, you know, it doesn't seem to be magnetic. Well, it is magnetic, but it fell out. So now I can't find a bit. That's a bit of a bummer. Because I opened a new box for that exact bit that I was looking for. There's only one bit like that in there. I looked all I looked everywhere, so... Anyways, this is way it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the two contacts out. Or actually, I'm going to take, disassemble the whole thing here and deal with it later. So I don't lose it. Otherwise, you'll just lose it, and this way when I'm ready to sort all that stuff out, I will have it all in the right spot. So that's how it does contact. Two little contacts. I mean, there's not very much there, to be honest. As you can see, there's very little, but I guess if you have lots of this stuff, it will add up. And this thing here, like I say, there's a bunch of gears here and stuff, but... I'm not going to deal with it. There's a couple of uh, screws here. Two screws here. This one's pressured on. And there's just so many different bits here. Normally, uh, it's all the same bit. I do stoves, like the new ones are all the same. This one is a million different screws. So I can deal with, this, deal with this wire later, and there'll be contacts in here. I'm not sure how big they will be, but if I can maybe open this up here and just take a peek, just take a little peek for you guys. There's multiple contacts in here. Oh yeah, they're kind of buried in there. If I can 
pop this out further. Yeah, there are very small contacts, but there is contacts in there. Yeah, these are very little. That's actually the worst I've seen. You know, that's an old stove here. You'd think it'd be bigger, but it's the worst contacts I've seen so far. But anyways, we'll deal with them later. That's the best I took out of that one. These two, these are aluminum too. A little mortar. I can sell with this with the e-waste. Taking it apart, uh, you know, might not be worth it, but you know, taking it apart would be really simple, anyways. If I just pop this, pop this open here somehow. Let's pop it open like that. Yeah, I don't have a screwdriver. I should grab more tools, but anyways, all you have to do is see, it's just like here is pop it open both sides and un unroll it. Okay, so uh, let me move on. I'm gonna get some other stuff here. Stand by. Yeah, I'm gonna throw all the scrap in here. All this in my truck, and I'm going through the pile there, and I throw most of that. Just uh, something that has small, small mortars. I'm gonna scrap them all. There's no point uh, if the mortars, uh, a couple ounces of copper, it's not worth it. I get more money that when the thing's complete. There's, a, there's probably like a two or two ounce of mortar here, maybe three ounce if you're lucky. So now they're buying the whole the whole thing for eight cents a pound. So it's better money as a whole item than taking the part. Um, some things like if they have a really big mortar, then I might uh, might uh, might end up uh, like I say keeping it, but. Some of these blenders are really heavy. I'm not sure how big the mortars are, but I'll take one apart and see what's in there. Like these hedges are not worth it. Uh, I watched a few YouTube videos. There's a little bit of aluminum in there, and it's mostly a uh, small, tiny mortar. That's it. A little bit of wire. Better just to sell it the way it is. Okay. Let's, we'll post more as we keep going here.